And in this episode, we're talking about how to spot a gap in the market. Now, why is it important to be able to spot gaps in the market? Well, if you think about it, this is a very lucrative skill. Think about Sarah Blakely when she spotted the gap in the market for women's support underwear. She probably didn't ever imagine that that would be the vehicle to make her a billionaire and reach millions of people around the world. So knowing how to spot the gap in the market is actually a skill and you can develop it. And there's two main ways to do this. The first is with your head and the other way is with your heart. So the headway is by really looking at the numbers, looking at statistics, looking about the demographics of how many people have a certain problem and what they're currently spending to solve that problem. And through that, you can start to look at uh, where the potential gaps are. You can also look at um, what's already selling in your marketplace. And a lot of this information is available to you just through Google. For example, it's really easy to go to Amazon and see lists of their bestsellers. These are strong indicators in your niche of what's doing well and what isn't. So that's the head-based way of doing it. The second way, what I call the heart-based way, is by really listening and paying attention to your target customers. Um, what is it that they are most struggling with? Like what is keeping them up at night? What are they preoccupied with? Or what are they saying to themselves first thing in the morning? Like the more that you can get inside their mind and understand what's going on for them, the better positioned you're gonna be to spot a gap in the market. Now I'd like to share a story that happened when I started my first business over 20 years ago. I had been learning about NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, and I had been applying it to my career as a salesperson with phenomenal results. And I'm the sort of person that when I get something that's really working, I just want to share it with as many people as possible. So I decided that I was going to branch out on my own and I was going to do sales training. What I wasn't prepared for was the amount of competition and how many other independent sales trainers there were in the marketplace. But then an interesting thing was occurring to me as I was getting my business off the ground. I had not one, not two, but several people approach me at different times and say, Bernadette, I've heard you're really great at cold calling. Can you help me with this? Well, I'm a bit slow on the uptake sometimes because it must have been by the time that the sixth person approached me that the penny finally dropped. And I'm like, huh, this is interesting. I'm trying to sell sales training as this general thing and yet these people are keeping coming up to me and they're asking for something really specific, cold calling, and it just so happens I do have expertise that can help them with this. So I decided to put together uh, a training program which was just one day teaching people everything I knew about how to um, have more success with cold calls and it was a great success and that actually went on to become my niche in my first offline business. And I got known uh, for being, you know, the UK's top cold calling trainer at the time. And it was through those steps that's led me directly to um, having the business, the online business that I do today. So one of the things is to really pay attention. And this is really important. Like if you don't feel that, uh, you know, the market is beating a path to your door for what you're currently focused on, that's a really important feedback. That's a really important clue. And you might want to start to pay attention. Well, what do you hear as the themes or issues that are coming up time and time again in your conversations with people online or offline? And that will lead you to your gap in the market. Hello. You. Yes, you. Yes, you. If you like my mummy's videos, my mummy is Bernadette Doyle, by the way, you need to hit the subscribe button or the like button. It would be very appreciated. Bye!